Hey guys, this is Somyajit. You're watching Take and Target. Today I'm here to share my uh, interview experience at Accenture. So let's start, shall we? First, we will have to do the online test. That is an aptitude test. And once you clear this test, you're uh, sitting for the next round. That is the coding test. And attempt both questions. There will be two questions for coding round, and you will have to sit for. Uh, you'll have to attempt both the questions. And after that, you will get a confirmation mail for the selection of interview and just prepare and nail it. So mine took place on 31st of October, 31st of October, 2020. The number of interviews were two. Once before, uh, before the interview process takes place, you have to, uh, you have to select your uh, slot, which uh, for, uh, from a mail, uh, from a link that will be sent to you by Accenture. The number of interviews will, have, uh, will be two. They, first of once you join the interview, they will make you comfortable and be confident this time, smile and use the most of this opportunity to be more friendly with, with them and half of your job is done. First, introduce, they will introduce themselves with their names, which post they are working in and for how long they have been working there. Second, they'll ask you to introduce yourself and just go through the video about tell me about yourself uh, available at Tick and Target in youtube and trust me you'll thank me later and once i finished with my uh, tell me about yourself my interviewer actually said that it was definitely a good start and be confident guys just smile and just say whatever you just need to have to say second uh, i have i did mention that i have uh, good communication skills and uh, and based on that they told me that uh, they asked me that uh, so uh, they gave me a situation saying like I have so you say that you have good com convincing skills, right? So the other interviewer and I are planning to go to Australia, but you are going to Europe So why don't you convince us to go with you leaving Australia behind so that we would leave Australia behind and we would go with you So I said with the best possible knowledge I had and you can say anything but uh, a little it should be related to something that has been asked and uh, Second, you don't have to be full. Uh, you have to. You don't have to be fully prepped or nervous. Like what situation uh, am I in? Just be confident, and they will check your confidence and your communication skills, especially. Uh, the next thing is like the after I finish, the other interviewer asked the other interviewer, like, uh, "Are you convinced?" And then he replied saying, "We need to have. We can have a good conversation on this, and uh, he needs a little bit of tuning." And then they said again that it was so it was a definite it was definitely a good start. Uh, yeah. So next they started asking me about on about my projects. First they asked me about uh, uh, the project that I did, which was an IoT. So he asked me. One of the interviewers asked me, "Does your uh, can your project measure an object that is two kilometers away?" I have implemented smart traffic control system using IoT which was only a model with, uh, with some ultrasonic sensors which can only detect up to four meters so i said that no sir we have implemented only for a model we need to work on that as well so be polite and uh, if there is a flaw just say it like yeah we need to work on this be appreciative be take on more responsibilities like uh, yeah show them like you can do this we have to work on this okay you need to improve so they'll be impressed by that second the other interviewer asks me what advancements have you done in your project apart from the system that is already available? So let me give you a little hint about my project. It was smart transport system we would like to call, which is basically three parts of a smart city, namely smart traffic control system, smart parking system, and automated streetlights using IoT. We have implemented the automated streetlights in such a way that it would only allow the streetlights to glow if it is able to detect one object in front of it. So I told them, and it would, uh, and it would, uh, it would uh, not glow up. It would, uh, or it would be, uh, it would be off until an object is detected next time. So he asks me that uh, if I'm driving in a highway, don't you think that will that it will block my vision uh, if, if there is no car or any vehicle in front or behind me? So I said that yes, sir. You have pointed a, uh, you have uh, definitely pointed a good thing. So, okay, so we need to work on that as well. So he said like, yeah, that's what I was talking about. And they will guide you to make, make your project even better if they find interest. The next thing uh, was, yeah, then they said again they, that, uh, yeah, it was definitely a good start. 
all thanks to Anshul's video on tell me about yourself actually. And then they asked me any questions for us. I said the three questions that you can see that is what work will I do once I join Accenture? Show some interest guys because if you're not showing interest, the comp the, if the interviewer gets to know that you're not interested, they will not select you. Uh, show some interest. Like I asked, uh, you can ask these questions as well. So wh what work will I do once I join Accenture? So they answered me saying that they will train me on the domain I choose before I join. Second, I asked when will the results be out? So he replied saying as soon as the HR is done with the rest of the process, we'll let you know from your TPOs. And uh, then I asked, do you think that I need to learn something new to perform better at Accenture? Uh, so the guy th this time he replies in such a way that you are in seven semester, right? I said, yes, sir. So one more semester left from eight semesters. So I said, yes. And then he said, enjoy this time because you are not going to get back this time again in life. So I just smiled and said, thank you so much, sir. And then we left the interview saying, waving bye to everyone present. And it was a nice interaction with them. I was with this opinion that I won't be selected because uh, I was not that much prepared for this interview. The night before I saw Anshul's video and was motivated and other interview experiences that he has uploaded uh, for Accenture. So yeah. The only thing that you need to work on is uh, be confident, carry a smile, and you will nail this interview, guys. Once this process is done, you will receive an SMS uh, or an email that you have been selected. And you have to download, uh, accept, or reject that letter of intent from Accenture. And then uh, you're done. You're selected for the next process for uh, whenever they will select you or whenever the uh, work starts. Thank you so much for watching Taken Target. Take care. Bye. All the best for any other interviews. Thank you. Bye.